That's the right one there. Yeah. I got the GoPro going. There we go. That one smoked it. Drop a waypoint on that. Not a bad one. <clears throat> Pretty nice little starter fish right there. So over the past couple years, a couple of us at Wired to Fish, more particularly uh, Keys and myself, have been messing around with catching crappies on hard baits. One of the things about it, it's just enjoyable to do. One, you don't have live bait. And two, you generally have to make a cast and bring it back in. And as much as I love watching a cork go down, this is something that I've been messing around with. And it's really fun because first off, if you can see out behind me, the huge expanse of body of water. By casting and winding a bait, I can just cover that much more water as opposed to throwing a cork out, letting it soak, moving it, throwing it, letting it soak, so on and so forth. This is so much more engaging for me because I can just cover a ton of water. The crappies, if they pull up into shallower reeds, the nice thing about this thing is that I can throw it in and unlike a jerk bait to engage it and to get it to go down, you have to start retrieving the bait to get it to drive down into the water. This just falls on slack line, right? It's just, if I don't move it at all, it'll just sink and it has a little shimmy as it falls. It's a uh, Shinobi Shad and it's come to be one of my favorites just for covering a ton of water and then earlier today, I got up into some bulrushes and there was a few crappies skirting around in there. And I could just, I could see them and just make a direct drop right, out, right behind the fish and just slowly work it past the fish and drop the bait vertically right in their face, engage it, drop it, engage it, drop it. And then you can just mess with them until they bite it. So as you can see, the size of it is, I mean, it's not a giant bait. And you've seen normal size spy baits before. They're about twice that long. But since this lure sinks very slowly, it's borderline buoyant. I like using a longer rod. I like using a longer rod for the jerk baits too, when I'm doing that deal. Cause the baits are just smaller and I like to be able to make a, you know, fire out a long cast. And that longer rod, this is like a seven and a half foot rod, medium light. I have it paired with braid, and I always run a fairly loose drag. That I mean, I'm not pulling much on that. Fishing crappies, you know, they're notorious for that light skin and mouth. So when I do get a bite, I basically just reel, and it doesn't take much to get that drag to go. But I can feel a real subtle bite with the braid, and then I have six pound fluoro, because occasionally you're up in these I mean, we're fishing a big body of water. You never know what you might run into fishing crappies. You might get that token walleye cruising around in the shallows or a big bass or anything's possible. So I like to beef up my uh, floral just a touch. Normally, if I knew there was just nothing but crappies around, I'd maybe go to four. And if I was in open country where I'm not fighting bulrushes or anything, I would definitely consider four pound, or if it's a cold front or something, I might just lighten up my floral a little bit. Sometimes they get fickle and tough to catch. That light line really helps out a lot. Not only if they're line shy, but it also just really lets your, you know, you can really get your bait to work at its maximum potential. Oh, there he is out on the end of a long cast. Sweet. That one just clicked it. Oh, you can tell it's crappie. They just get to the surface right away. I'll try and just hoist them right up here with six pound. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Look at that guy. Just out covering a ton of water out on this big flat, catching a few nice crappies. This one might have to go in the pan for later tonight.